Hello, good evening my lovelies and welcome to my kitchen in Queens where I make curry. I'm Nupur, a cookbook author and a chef and I make curry in my kitchen, hence the name Queens Curry Kitchen. Welcome to my struggle of trying to eat fruits every day and also seeing so many fruits sitting at home but nobody actually picks up the fruits and eats it. So I'm trying to solve these two problems with one solution and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an Indian fruit salad and you will see how delicious it can be. It doesn't need a whole lot of exotic ingredients, just a little um, creativity in terms of putting everything together and you don't have to follow this recipe exactly, which means that you can actually make this with whatever fruits you have at home. So without any further ado, let's get totally into it. I know you like this uh, front row seat to my performance. Okay, so these are all the fruits that I had in my house and these have been here since I think April or May because nobody was, everybody was too lazy. The princess of the palace will not eat any bananas that have, uh, the skin has black dots on it, so go figure. This is one red apple that is peeled and chopped into little pieces. I also have one green apple, very tiny green apple, and this is a grape variety that has seeds in it. Of course, princess of the palace, aka my daughter Sherry, would not want to eat this because it has the seeds. So now I have to cut the grape in half, pop the seeds out so that I can entice her to eat my fruit medley. You know that song, peel me a grape, crush me some ice. You think she's spoiled? I think so. All right, moving along. And I also have this, which is a papaya. So if you're trying to make something with an Indian twist, the quintessential fruits that must be there, which cannot be substituted are papaya. But if you don't have papaya or you don't eat papaya for whatever reason, that's totally fine. Skip it. Banana gives it that creamy and kind of sticky fan of that texture. You can omit that as well. I'm also going to use some blackberries because I don't think there's that much time left. Uh, they're going to go bad pretty soon. I've also scooped, and this is the juice of one orange. And it will also be requiring a little bit of regular sugar. If you don't do sugar, you can do brown sugar. Now, I am also going to use Himalayan pink salt. Yes, this is a sweet and salty, and that's why it's called fruit chaat. And if you've been to any Indian restaurant, you know that chaat actually means something that's sweet, salty, savory, umami, all at the same time, right? So let's get started. It's just really simple. You toss everything into this bowl. I'm not going to use all the papaya. It's a little too much. This is only half of it. By the way, if you're pregnant or nursing, do not eat papayas. That's what my mom told me when I was pregnant. Apparently, it doesn't uh, agree well with the fetus and leads to miscarriages. There's no medical proof for it, but you know what? Just because mom said so, we don't do it. Okay, the banana went in. I'm going to put in the apples. So basically, you're trying to combine, you know, the crunchy textures of the apples, the soft textures of the banana and the papaya some seed seed seeded de-seeded grapes for the princess aka sherry berry okay i think i should have taken a bigger bowl huh what do you think and i'm gonna put some pomegranate seeds but not all i will save them for a top garnish and the rest of it i will use in my juicing tomorrow so into this i'm going to add some salt and you know me and eyeballing everything Blah, just that much you know like how in the Mexican culture they have the fruit with the spices and you have the mango with the salt and the tajin dressing the seasoning okay look at this this is a tamarind and brown sugar chutney that actually came from a restaurant and it's almost got like a deep molasses barbecue type flavor and it's sweet and tangy I am adding a teaspoon of this if you don't have it, it'll still taste good. Do not worry. Okay, so in goes that. Once you add this, you may not need to add as much sugar. So that's the good thing about it. That if you add this, then if you add the chutney, you may not need that much sugar. You can actually even add some, I don't know, maybe strawberry jam. Just to give it that creamy texture and bind everything together. And basically the orange juice helps to dissolve into the sugar and sweet fruits if they're not naturally sweet by it. All right, we're going to give it a good toss. Yes, I should have totally taken a bigger bowl. And I'm telling you, when I put the fruit bowl in front of people in my house, nobody reaches out for any food. 
when I cut it and put it in front of their house in, in front of their face, maybe they'll eat a piece here or there. But if I make this, there's a good chance that my husband will eat it instead of dessert. And lately he's been looking for ice cream every day after dinner. I think it's very disturbing. <laughs> I don't want him to reach for those sugary things at 11 o'clock in the night when he's eating his dinner. So yeah. I'm going to plate it up. I will add some blackberries for extra flourish. Oh, shouldn't I have had a fork? I should have. So these fruits are actually sold on the roadside and they're served on, uh, you know, leaf plates. So little, little bowls that are made out with dried leaves and they're served on the roadside in India. Now, of course, with so much uh, happening in terms of pollution and all that, a lot of the roadside cut fruit selling has been banned for many years. But I remember growing up, it was everywhere, just everywhere. Okay, so I'm just going to transfer these blackberries in here. And I will plate some of these. So my favorite in this is definitely papaya. I love papaya, especially when it gets a little sweet and salty, then I love it. And of course, the bananas add a nice texture, contrast. The apples are sweet and delicious. And of course, since I am the queen of this palace, yeah, right, uh, maybe a blackberry. And you know what I'm going to add? I'm going to add a dash of black salt. Check this out. This is the tangy black salt that kind of you put when you make those vegan eggs. That's what it is. And it has a nice kick to it. It gives everything a nice flourish and a deep flavor. So that's what it looks like. And you'll never forgive me if I didn't do a taste with all of you. Right? That would not be fun. Hey, Robert, do you want to come and eat some fruit chaat? Tiffany, hi. Chetna Bhatt is watching me. Oh, my God. She was my professor when I was in fashion school. Can you believe that? Many, 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 many years ago. So that's what I'm talking about. So we haven't forgotten each other. That's a good thing. All right. So I've taken one banana in here. Let me see. What am I scooping in? A banana, a grape. It's going to be quite a mouthful. I can tell you that. Mmm. Dude, I don't even think I need dinner. Good. It's not overly loaded with sugar, which is perfect. The fruits are perfectly ripened. And let me tell you something. When you uh, buy a banana, uh, when you buy a banana, a papaya, or a cantaloupe, and you want to eat it right away, my mom always taught me to wait till the skin becomes a little soft. And that's the reason... That's the clue that's going to tell you that the fruit is actually sweetened on the inside. Even with the pineapple, when it's green on the outside, don't cut it. Wait for it to turn like a little yellow and you'll actually smell the pineapple fragrance in the air when you walk past it. That's when you know your fruit is ready because fruits ripen from the inside out. So by the time it gets to the skin, it's absolutely sweet and ripe. And grains ripen from the outside in. So when you're cooking rice, you know that the outside is cooked but the inside is raw. Just my little two cents. So anyway, let your food, fruits ripen completely. You can add strawberries to this. You can add pineapples to this. Whatever fruit you have, mangoes, it's all good, right? So this was my fruit chart for today. I'm trying to eat more fruits. I don't know how long it's going to last, but I'm trying. Um, and you know that I love soups and salads, but fruits are something that I never really consciously eat. So I'm just trying to incorporate that. And also yesterday, a lot of you questioned me about the juice oranges that I was talking about. Yes, juice oranges are a little smaller and the skin is really thin. So that means there's a lot more pulp and there's a lot more juice as opposed to navel or maniola oranges which have a thick skin. So when you buy them by the pound, you're actually paying for the skin which is going to um, go to waste. And that's not a good thing, right? Especially now because everything is so expensive. Anyway, thank you all for joining me today. I hope you will try out this fruit chart recipe and you will enjoy it it's a great thing to serve in between meals before meals after meals however you can squeeze it in just get some fruits in your life and the princess of the palace is calling me so i have to entice her with this fruit salad i will catch you in another one do follow me on instagram queen's curry kitchen i am also on youtube with my own youtube channel called queen's curry kitchen so don't forget to hang out with me over there and i will see you in another one very soon until then stay flavorful Stay blissful and do the best you can. Caroline, hello. We are just hopping off and you're checking in. But you know what? Catch the replay. If this brought a smile to your lips or added some value to your life, share it with your friends. I will see you in another one. 
and take good care have a great weekend y'all bye